Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to SL Prem. So today, we're really going to optimize Premiere Pro to work the best it can possibly be. So first of all, you want to open up Premiere, of course, and you want to go into the Edit tab, and then click on Preferences, and then start with General. Alright, there it is, Preferences. So at first, none of these actually affect the performance of Premiere, so you can technically just leave it as this is and you should be fine. So appearance, same with that. It doesn't really affect the performance at all. Now audio, same with audio, no performance differences. And now for this, it actually affects the performance a little bit. There should be a latency tab, and normally it's around like 250, I think, milliseconds. You wanna pretty much put it down to 50. So then while you're listening to the audio, you're not gonna get it slightly off and make it as close to the video as possible. All right, next is auto save. You should leave it on, doesn't really affect performance at all. Same with capture, does not affect performance. Collaboration, does not affect performance. Same with this, same with this, same with this, same with this. Here, you basically wanna match your time code so like if you're shooting 60 FPS, make sure you guys choose 60. I'm shooting at 23.976. So this is basically what I want to choose. And now you want to disable proxies. It probably is on by default. You want to turn it off. Also, if you see hardware accelerated decoding, make sure it's turned on. And next, growing files. Do not check this. If it's checked, make sure you guys disable that. So now it should be grayed out. Next for media cache. If you guys really want the best performance of Premiere, you guys are gonna need to buy extra hard drives or SSDs. So for example, I bought a 240 gig Samsung SSD. So basically that's for my media cache files and my project files. So I put browse and then my scratch disk. So yeah, this is different than the actual hard drive from your computer. So if you have multiple hard drives, make sure you guys isolate one of them just for the media cache and your project settings and stuff. All right, now for memory, this is also very important. Make sure you guys optimize rendering for performance. And of course, you want to decrease this value as small as you can. So it says RAM reserved for other applications. It should be as low as possible. So three is the lowest. And you should have plenty of RAM. As you can see here, I have 32 gigs of RAM on my system. And I have 29 gigabytes of storage for Premiere, which is pretty good for my editing workload. And now for playback, you guys want to disable Mercury Transmit. It's not really useful. If it is useful to you, you can just ignore my advice. But for most people, you're not going to need this. Sync settings, doesn't matter. Here, doesn't matter either. This doesn't matter. All right, to go back, let me give you a summary of what you guys should change in case you miss something. General, you should really change nothing, nothing, nothing. And in the audio hardware, you guys want to change latency to 50. Auto save, nothing. Capture, nothing. Collaboration, nothing. Control surface, nothing. Device control, nothing. Graphics, nothing. Labels, nothing. Media, disable proxies, and disable automatically refresh growing files. Media cache, make sure you guys have a separate hard drive or SSD for media cache files only. And for memory, you guys want to decrease this value as much as possible. Playback doesn't matter. Sync settings doesn't matter. Timeline doesn't matter. And trim doesn't matter. So yeah, that's your summary of the day. And the video is not over yet. One thing you guys, one thing you guys need to change too, is in your project settings. So file uh, project manager, I believe. Uh, no, project settings. Now you get three different tabs: scratch this and ingest settings. Leave ingest settings as it is. For scratch this, just like for media cache, you guys want to have an extra hard drive. But I know most people don't, so I actually set video previews and audio previews to the same hard drive as the media cache. 
and pretty much all the other things like the first two options here captured video and captured audio don't actually matter so you guys can just ignore that and project autosave and CC libraries downloads and motion graphics template media you can just leave that as it is so two things you want to focus on is video previews and audio previews you guys want to put that on the fastest drive you have in your computer so yeah I put that on my extra hard drive or SSD so that is about it guys and you should now have a clean and smooth premiere experience and as you can see here uh, these are actually uh, 8k raw footage and I'm actually running my Ryzen 1700X which of course is not the best processor in the world but you can still see it plays back very very well and with very very few hiccups like remember this is raw footage raw which means it's running at a couple hundred megabytes per second and this is actually 4k and my computer has no problems at all with 4k like normal not raw so as you can see it plays back at full resolution just fine but that's about it guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new and see you guys later peace out